take a look at the tax reporting tab. It is an add-on to the options traders template and you can purchase it from my website at theoptionstaxguy.com. Now the tax reporting template is probably or it may be the, the major reason that you purchase the options traders template and this tax reporting template as well because it consolidates all of your trades for the year into a tax reporting spreadsheet that you can either give to your CPA or you can use it to prepare your own tax return. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tax reporting template. I have downloaded it and there's a shortcut to it on my desktop. When you download it, it'll download as a zip file and you can unzip it to wherever you want to place the file itself. I'm going to double click and it opens it up. And here's the end user license agreement. Uh, read through that and at the bottom agree and here you have the tax reporting template. You can choose which year that you're going to consolidate and then your folder where all your trading files will appear here and the symbols that you're going to accumulate will be listed here. So let's first save this into our trading subdirectory. So I'm going to file save as and here's some of the underlines that I trade throughout the year. I already have this out here as a consolidator of all of my trades but I'll go ahead and save over top of this and there you have it. The first thing you're going to want to do is to add a new year. What that does is it adds a tab in between the selection and the end user license agreement there for the accumulation of all the trades. So let's go ahead and add that new year and there it's added. Then you're going to set your folder path and that is what I showed you a little bit earlier. That's the actual path to the files that I used to trade throughout the year. Let me go ahead and show you some of the error messages that you might receive once you click the retrieve tax data. So I'll go ahead and click that. And here's a checklist of what you absolutely have to have. You have to have this file, this report, uh, tax reporting template, in your trading subdirectory. All of the symbols are in this subdirectory. You have exported the current year tax info in the file or each symbol listed. The tax year tab has been added, which is right down here, and the folder path is populated say okay well somewhere there's an error here and in this case it's all the symbols none there's no symbols there so I'm going to go ahead and put some in United Healthcare Eli Lilly and Equifax now before we go ahead and retrieve all that tax data what I want to do is show you in a file I'll pick Teva, Teva Pharmaceutical. I actually traded quite a bit in Teva thinking it was going to come back. Never did, but here is what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do a tax export for 2017 for Teva. So I'll do my tax export and yes it was saved as the symbol. Okay, it asks you do you want to go to the tax tab now? Yes I do and there are all of my trades for the year. I'm going to go ahead and prepare my tax form. I'm going to use it, leave it as actual. There is a video or a tutorial on using this tax export feature but for now I'm just going to keep it as actual prepare my tax form. 
save my file. You have to have this exported or the tax reporting features will not work. Go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to go ahead and retrieve these. So I'm going to retrieve tax data and it takes off. And what it's doing is opening up each of these files but first it puts them in uppercase and alphabetizes them because you see that the first one that's loaded is Equifax which is an E and it's ticker symbol number one. This could take quite a bit of time because if you have a number of underlines you can, you can add up to 999 symbols. If you have 999 symbols it's going to take a long time to load this template. So let's go ahead and take a look at 2017 and here are the trades. My Equifax, Eli Lilly, and United Healthcare. So you'll put your totals on and there you have a complete form 8949. And there is your substitute for a form 8949. And close that. Go back to our selections. Now what you can do also, you can clear the data in the year tab if you want to for some reason. I'll show you that in a second. You can clear your folder path or you can clear the symbols here. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back in. Now I'm going to add one. I'm going to go ahead and clear my data because I'm going to say, well, I forgot to put Teva Pharmaceuticals in there. So now I'm going to set my folder path again. I've got my symbols in. I've got my year. Let's go ahead and retrieve that data. As you can see, it's probably going to take a lot longer if you have the more symbols you have, it's obviously going to take a lot longer, but I know we have more transactions with Teva than we did with the other two. So let's go ahead and take a look at 2017. And there's our Equifax, Lilly, Teva, and United Healthcare. Let's go ahead and add totals to that. And Basically, that was my, my Teva and my Equifax trade pretty much put me in a lost position for these uh, underlines for the year. So, and then you've already seen the, how we can print them. So, let me show you a couple of other things. You can add more rows. For instance, let's say I wanted to add 10 rows. And it'll tell you how many rows you have. And it'll go down here. Now, you can delete up to the instructional area here. So let's say I wanted to delete five rows. Okay. So that takes us to 30. Now, say I'd want to delete 10 from there. Well, the minimum is 24, so it's not going to let you do that. So we can delete up to six. So that takes us to 24 rows. Try to delete any more. It won't let us. That's just so that the instructions here that are associated with all the command buttons won't disappear. And this also gives you an order of which button to use. Obviously the year and then you have to add the tab, set folder path and retrieve the tax data. So I hope this has been informational. I hope this will take any fear out of using the tax reporting template. It's uh, a very good tool for accumulating your tax information. You'll need to take your substitute form 8949 and compare it to your form 1099 that you get from your broker. And a couple of other things is that this will not automatically adjust for 
wash sale calculations. Also, uh, it won't automatically adjust for assignment and exercise. That is done in each underlying tax export file. So, with that said, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this has been informational and beneficial to you. And again, thanks for watching and good trading.